Hello and welcome back to an academy. So let's kick me PG myself, Dr. Muskan Chaudhary, and uh, we will continue the session as we are going to discuss the question answers <coughs> for the leash mania and gyptosoma. So starting with an academy in the plus category, uh, plus subscriptions, we get the subscription to both the live and the recorded sessions. And uh, learning from the India's topmost educator for any mid examination or any other competitive paper. Completing the live TNDs and studying on the device of our choice. Assess up to 25,000 of MCQ with printed and the digital notes that are being provided. Uh, now, uh, the IQ subscriptions prep that an academy has come together where we get access to clinical integrated essentials with Q bands and rapid revision snapshots and 2018 dream notes with well structured live badges recorded uh, classes, Q banks complete TNDs. Under need PG plus category and for two years it is on 36,000 rupees that is for 15500 and 24348 for two years and 58500 for two years for icon subscriptions and do use my code that is muskan 10 to get 10% of further discount. Now 25,000 high yield MCQs based on latest examination patterns and special class features includes interactive live sessions, attend the live classes, participate in the live class, do the polling for the learners, raise a hand, talk to educator, never miss a class because we will get the notification for the same and download the lecture notes and attend the live classes, participate in the live chat. Now target need a uh, uh, PG of uh, TND badge that is for 2022 and with well structured badges, GTs, clinical essentials, recorded sessions and practice queue banks with 24 month subscription four month is totally free with 12 month two month is totally free and with one month one month uh, with six month one month is totally free and fmg batches that is for six month with fmg gt's live test recorded sessions practice queue banks so we'll start with the question answers now Yes, we'll start with the first question of the disease that Chagas disease is caused by the Trypnosoma cruzi, Trypnosoma cruzi, Lishmane, Donovanai or Trypnogambians. Is what is the correct answer that Chagas disease is caused by Yes. Easy one the Chagas, if you remember C4C, that is the cruzi, that is Chagas disease, and it is caused by the Trypnosoma cruzi. And what was the factor? Factor was the reduvid bug, reduvid bug, or the or the kissing bug, or the kissing bug. And definitive host was that the men and the vector was the red big bug and we have the reservoir that were the mammals and the rodents that were the reservoir for that trypnosoma cruzi and what was to remember important we had the acute and the chronic Chagas disease in the acute we had the chagoma that is what that is the subcutaneous uh, nodules and another important one that is romana's sign which is nothing but periorbital edema periorbital edema that was unilateral and that was painless periorbital edema in the chronic one in the heart it presented with dilated cardiomyopathy and the git that was the mega esophagus and the mega colon now, radiovic bug is the factor for the transmission of the relapsing fever, Lyme's disease, scrub typhus or the Chagas disease.
is e z one that radiovic berg radiovic berg is the vector for radiovic berg is the vector for that of the chagas disease or the trypnosoma cruzi now strawberry cervix is seen in the gardnerella vaginalis trichomonas vaginalis mycoplasma formis or the neisseria gonorrhea is what is the correct answer strawberry cervix is seen in yes strawberry cervix is seen in strawberry cervix and the strawberry vagina that is seen in the it is seen in the trichomonas vaginalis and remember t4 t that is the uh, trophozoite form is only present there is a no cyst form and t4 t it had the twitching motility twitching motility or the jerky motility and it was due to the undulant membrane that is responsible for the motility and sexually transmitted most common symptom in the male is the urethritis and the cervicitis in the female and the drug of the choice was the metronidazole that was given to both the sexual partners and presented with that of the profuse uh, white discharge and with uh, bad smell along with the strawberry cervix or the vagina and under 10% of the koh amount we saw for the clue cells Tri uh, strawberry cervix that is the other name that is the call pitis macularis now sleeping sickness is transmitted by the cc fly or the house fly sand fly or or simulin fly sleeping sickness or the african sleeping sickness that is caused by the trypnosoma bruzi and what is the vector the vector is the cc fly it is vector is the cc fly we have two type one is the west african sleeping sickness and the east african that is caused by the uh, rodians and the gambians and what else vector is the cc fly and reservoir is the rodent animals and we have uh, three stages one is the uh, stage one where it was the systemic febrile illness and the stage two that was the hemolymphatic stage where we saw the winter bottom sign vector of the kalas are is flea cc fly sand fly or the tick So vector for the kala azar or the visceral leishmaniasis, visceral leishmaniasis or the dumb dumb fever. What is the vector? Vector is the sand fly flea bottomus. That is the vector, and we have it as the 
इंटरमीडिएट होस्ट एंड द मैन एज द डेफिनेटिव होस्ट इन द मैन दैट इज आदमी वी गेट द ए मस्टिक गॉड फॉर्म दैट इज द दैट इज द डायग्नोस्टिक फॉर्म एंड इनफेक्टिव फॉर्म इज वॉट द प्रोमेस्टिगेट फॉर्म विच इज फाउंड वेयर इन दैट द सेंड फ्लाई दैट इज द फ्री बॉटमस और राइट एंड वॉट एज इम्पॉर्टेंट वी गेट द एल डी बॉडीज विच आज नथिंग बट द ए मेस्टिगॉट फॉर्म इन दैट ऑफ द मैक्रोफेज दैट इज एल डी बॉडीज because the pro mastigate form that transform into the a mastigate form in the macrophage that is known as the ld bodies and in india there is no extra human reservoir for that of the kalaza or the visceral leishmaniasis now a mastigate forms are seen in the leishman donovan and toxoplasma gondii leishmania major or the ant amoeba Yeah, hi hello yes so what is the answer the a mastigate form will be seen in is even the a mastigate form that is seen in leishmania donovan and leishmania major so a mastigate form that is the diagnostic form and where do we get it we get in admi a for a admi that is in the men and if it was pro mastigate form it was pro mastigate form we found in the sand fly gut or the flea bottomers and in the a mastigate form the nucleus and the kinetoplast are perpendicular to each other and the pro mastigate form is a long slender one. One where there it is what they are far apart. So here it is nucleus, and here we get the kinetoplast. Drug not used in the visceral leishmaniasis is is cetamoxifen, paramoxifen, or miltiforcin, or hydrochloroquine. when we talk about the drug of the choice for the leishmaniasis what is the drug of the choice that is the pentavalent antimonials that is the sodium stevo gluconate but not in the west and the bihar where it is the lipid preparation lipid formulation of the amphotericin b and what else is it is given that is the para paramomycin and the Miltefosin, Miltefosin. All right, so we give the paromycin, we give the Miltefosin and the Ceta Moquin that is given in the development as an oral treatment for that of the visceral leishmaniasis. But hydrochloroquine is not given. A 20-year-old female from Africa has an hepatosplenomegaly with pallor and generalized lymphadenopathy. Lab test is useful in the diagnosis of ESR, uh, electrophoresis, parasite detection, the aspirate ELISA, or routine hemogram.
Yes. So, uh, female form the Africa with that of the hepatosplenomegaly with that of the pelor and the generalized lymph adenopathy. So, we are probably talking about what the leash meniasis. So, we, in the leash meniasis, that is, we get the anemia, uh, thrombocytopenia, and typical features of the pencytopenia. And what else? Hyper gamma globinemia. For that, we do the ESR, the parasite detection in the aspirate, and the routine hemogram to check for the pancytopenia and the hyper gamma globinemia. The following test helps in the laboratory dance of colors are except the bone marrow examination, immobilization test, blood smear examination, or the aldehyde test. Yeah, so what is the answer now following test uh, help in the laboratory diagnosis except now we use the Napier's aldehyde test and the Chopra's antimony test to see for that uh, non-specific test for the serology we use the blood smear examination to check for the hypergammaglobinemia and the pencytopenia we use the bone marrow examination bone marrow aspiration that is a more sensitive and specific test but we do not use the immobilization test Leash mania is cultured in which media? Chocolate agar, triple N media, telluride, or the saburoids agar? Leishmania is cultured in easy one that is cultured in the non specific media and that is the triple N media that is a McNoy, uh, McNeil, and Norway and cultured media that we are using for that of the culture of the Leishmania. Now, reservoir of Indian colors is men, canines, rodents, or the equine. With respect to India, there is no extra, there is a no extra human reservoir. All right. Now, true about the visceral leishmaniasis is that we get the neutropenia, eso, uh, is eosinophilia, hypergammaglobinal lymph adenopathy, and the skin hypertension.
So two about the visceral leash meniasis. More than one will be two. We get the neutropenia. We get the anemia, pancytopenia. We do not get the eosinophilia. Hypergamma globulinemia is there. Lymphadeno is lymphadenopathy is there, and skin hyperpigmentation. Okay, so now we'll discuss the questions about the GRD. Now starting with the first question, all are true about antihistamines except stool toppers are essential for the diagnosis and mostly they are asymptomatic, cause the disease in the brain or cause the disease in the liver. Yes, which of the following statement is true? Stool trophozyte is not essential because we get the, or we take the three consecutive stool specimen to get for the antihistolytic or trophozyte to form because they are shed intermittently, not uh, continuous. Therefore, they are not essential for diagnosis by one, only 25% sensitive. Therefore, we take the three specimen so that we get 75% of the sensitivity. Mostly, they are asymptomatic. They cause a disease in the brain and they cause a disease in the liver. A violence factor that is responsible for for the adherence of the antihistolytic to intestinal mucosa is inofolic protein, amoeba lectin, phosphatase or the proteinase. So that is what is the primary violence factor. We have the primary violence factor for the antihistolytic that is the amoeba lectin that is the addition and that helps in the addition to that of the gut of that of the uh, host. So, that is a primary violence factor. The most common site for may be as a sigmoid colon, transverse colon, cecum or the hepatic flexure. Yes, the most common site for amoebiasis for the antihistolytica, it is the cecum, large intestine cecum followed by that of the sigmoid colon, that followed by that of the sigmoid colon. Investigation of choice for amoebiasis is ELISA, colonoscopy, microscopy or microscopy with that of the ELISA. Yes, what is the answer? Investigation of choice for that of Amiya is microscopy with that of the ELISA. Why we are using both the methods? Because microscopy, we take a three stool samples to check for the trophozoid uh, that is the in present in active state and the cyst form that is in the uh, carrier state and the ELISA to check for the amoebic uh, lectin antigen to see for that by the ELISA technique. Number of the nucleus that is present in the mature cyst of the antibiotic history is 1, 2, 4 or 8. That is easy, that is 4 and in case of the E. coli if the answer then we would, we would have gone for that of the 8. Most common cause of dysentery in the adults are cryptopavin, giardia, strongoloids or the ant amoeba histolytica. Easy one, the most common cause for the dysentery in the adults is what ant amoeba histolytica. Treatment given to antimacist carriers metronazole, diloxane, deferrot, or furate, or the paromycin, or nitsoxamide. That is for the asymptomatic carriers or the lumen infections, we give the paramomycin. Largest protozoa is antihistolytica, valentidia coli, E. coli or the plasmodium.
Yes, the largest protozoa is. Is even the largest protozoa is Balintidia coli, and it is only ciliated protozoa that is pathogenic to human, and it is the largest protozoa. And to isolate the two are they are mostly asymptomatic, differentiated morphologically from the E. dispo, antigen different from the E. dispo, or uh, uh, spreads by ingestion of the infectious cyst. So two statement mostly they are asymptomatic, not uh, symptomatic, differentiated. They cannot be differentiated morphologically from the e dispersed because the pathogenic and non pathogenic antigen they are morphological identical, but they can be differentiated antigenically because they have the amoebic lactin, which is a major violence factor for that of the antamoeba histolytica. Spreads by the ingestion of the infectious cyst. That is also true. Now, a patient presents with the lower GIT bleed, sigmoidoscopy shows the ulcer and the biopsy shows the flask shaped ulcer. What are the, which of the following is the most appropriate treatment that give IV ceftriaxone or give IV metanazole, IV steroids, sulfasalazine or the hydrocortisone and uh, enemas? Question saying about the flask shaped also that is what we are talking about the broad base with the narrow neck. Is ka matlab we are talking about what the ant amoeba histolytica and amoeba histolytica. All right, so for that we give the metronidazole and the tinidazole that is the drug of the choice. We are giving the IV metronidazole. Which of the following statement is false? The presence of the ingested RBC aetocyte is seen only in the antibody histolytic. Young adult men of low socioeconomic status are most commonly affected by the invasive amoebiasis. A low and content the diet predisposed to the invasive amoebiasis. The pathogenic and the non pathogenic strains of the antimicrobial can be differentiated by the electrophoretic study of the zymotines. So, which of the following statement is false? Yes, yeah, so just in means for the presence of industry RBC seen only in antimicrobial. This is true because it is always seen in the pathogenic uh, antimicrobial that is the histolytic. Young adult male of the low socioeconomic status are most commonly affected by the invasive amoebiasis. Yes, because children are the main uh, their main uh, age group that is affected, and it is uh, by the fecal oral route. Therefore, hygiene is the one of the key factor. Iron content has no uh, uh, has no association with that amoebiasis, and the pathogenic and non pathogenic can be uh, differentiated by one is by erythrophagocytosis which is only by the histolytic on the presence of the amoebic lactin antigen which is also present in that of the antiviral histolytic as well as zymotin pattern by the PCR technique. Now true about the amoebic colitis it is caused by histolytic cyst contains 8 nucleus flask shaped ulcer is present cecum is most commonly affected and it is a pre-malignant condition so which of the following is a true statement more than one option will be true in this one.
But true about the amoebicolitis is that it is caused by the antihistolytica. This is true. Cis contains four nucleus, not eight. Flash shaped ulcer, cecum is cecum followed by sigmoid colon, and it is not a pre planning condition. Invasive amoebiasis can be best diagnosed by the ELISA uh, counter current immune electrophoresis, indirect hemoglutination test, or the CFT. That is best diagnosed by what? That is by the ELISA technique. Now, acute meningoencephalitis is caused by the acanthamoeba, nagliri, fowlery, or meningococcus, or bala muthia. Talking about the acute meningoencephalitis. That is the primary acute meningoencephalitis that is caused by the free living amoeba. We have free living amoeba, nagliri, fowlery, we have acanth amoeba, and the bala muthia. Nagliri is responsible for causing the PAM, that is the primary amoebic meningoencephalitis. Then we have the acanth amoeba and the bala muthia, acanth for the granulomatous encephalitis, and the bala muthia that also causes the meningoencephalitis. All right, so uh, that is uh, nagliri, that is by the inhalation of that of the uh, uh, trophozoid form which moves to that of the olfactory nerve capri form plate to that of the brain causing the meningoencephalitis which is highly fatal acute condition and there is no treatment and person dies in that of the 5 to 10 days which it is due to swimming in that of the water that is nagliri Fallery. Then we have the patient following use of the contact lens developed the corneal ulcer, conjunctivitis, and they show us the polygonal east saline mount preparation. What should be the probable diagnosis? Yes. So, talking about the conjunctival keratitis, conjunctivitis, and after the use of the contact lens for a long period of time and unhygienic condition, that is by the acanth amoeba keratitis. We are talking about the acanth amoeba keratoconjunctivitis, which is after the use of the contact lens or the washing the contact lens with that of the uh, normal uh, tap uh, water or that of the un un unhygienic condition wearing the contact lens for the long period of the time or use. Using it under the homemade sun preparations leads to the result to that of the anthemia corneal ulcers and the keratoconjunctivitis. Acute primary amoebic meningitis is which of the following statement is true? Meningitis caused acanthema species is acute in nature. Diagnosis by demonstration of the trophozoitin CSF caused by the fecal oral transmission, or it is more common in the tropical culture. So, primary amoebic meningoencephalitis, which of the following statement is true? So, it is not caused by the ganthamoeba, but it is causes the, because it causes the chronic granulomatous meningoencephalitis. It diagnoses by the trophozoid form, yes, and it is caused not by the fecal oral route. It is more common in the temperate areas. A 30 year old patient presented with the feature of the acute meningoencephalitis casualty. CSA wet mount shows the motile unicellular organism. The most likely organism is nagleri, acanth amoeba, ant amoeba, or the trypnosoma cruzi. Talking again about the acute, it cannot be a canthamoeba because they cause the chronic and the granulomatous meningoencephalitis. Acute is the nagliri flowery with that of the motile, that is the trophozoid form. We are talking about uh, the flagellate or the amoeboid form of the trophozoid form, that is the motile. Now, which of the following is not a neuroparasite, tenia solium, or the canthamoeba nagliri flowery, or the trichinella spiralis?
Yes, what is the answer? Now we have the ganthema causing the chronic glomerulonephritis encephalitis, with the nagleira causing the primary amoebic meningoencephalitis, and the tinea solum in the form of the neocystis cirrhosis. Answer will be trichinella. Parasitic encephalitis caused by the nagleira or the ganthema palamutia or nephrostoma. Yes, parasitic encephalitis is caused by it is caused by the all of the because these all are the free living amoebas that mainly that causing the CNS manifestation encephalitis and then we have gonadotoma which is a food born uh, parasite infection but also causes the encephalitis. Girl visits her friend's village develops a nasal discharge when gingitis dies in the five days and what is the organism that is responsible for it? Is nagleri flowery or the canthimbo toxoplasma or the felsiparum? Yes, now the uh, history, the patient, uh, the question is saying that a girl visited a village, a friend's village, develops a nasal discharge, she developed the nasal discharge and the meningitis and the most important one that she died in the five days that is meaning that it is fatal and with that of the meningitis we are talking about the acute meningitis that is the primary amoebic meningitis by the nagleri flowery it is highly fatal the patient dies in 5 to 10 days there is no treatment yet known and a canthamoeba it is a chronic condition so patient will not die in just 5 days okay so thank you so much for today's sessions please do use my code that is muskan 10 to get 10 percent of the discount and do like share subscribe and like comment and share i'll see you in the next session so take care